using Excel because it's just such a powerful tool. So let's start off with three columns. We have the generation, uh, we have the random number that we're going to generate, and then we can have the recurring population total. Okay, now to make these columns automatically fit, you can just click in between the two and it will adjust the column to fit the text in. Now for the generations, we want to have them as number one, two, three. Okay, the reason being we don't want to have a zero generation uh, because we'd need to have a zero population total to begin with in order for a power model to be appropriate. So we're just going to skip that uh, and start with, uh, with the number one. Okay, now rather than writing it all out, you can just say that this cell here is equal to the cell above it plus one. Okay, so and that's going to equal six. Excel is all about relationships between cells, uh, and once we've established this formula, we can apply it easily by just dragging it the whole way down. Okay, to 20 cells. Okay, now to begin with, we want a random number generated between 0 and 2 because 2 is our initial population. So this is equal to rand between is the function we use. We need to open a bracket and we're saying between the number 0, comma, and then the number 2. And we press enter to calculate that. So our first random number is 2. So we had initial population of 2 and we have a random number of new babies born being 2. So that gives us a total population of four. Now this number here is going to change every time we do something to the sheet, but I'll show you how we fix that in a moment. Now we want this new random, uh, new random number to be equal to again a random number between zero, but instead of it being between zero and two, we want it to be between zero and whatever the current total population is. So we just need to click this cell, okay? And that'll make it between zero and what's in this cell here. Okay, and we press enter to execute that. Now when we apply this formula to all of these cells, what it's doing is calculating the random number between zero and what's in the cell here. Between zero and what's in the cell here. Okay, and of course the recurring population total is just the population you had before plus the amount of newborn babies. Okay, press enter to calculate it and we drag this down and it's going to calculate all of this for us. Fantastic. Okay. So, probably the best way to stop it from changing every time you press a button, okay, is to copy it all into whoops, copy it all into a new sheet, okay? So press highlight it all, press control C. Uh, go into a new sheet and when you paste it, just paste the values, okay? And all that's done is copied the numbers. All right, so now we've got our three columns there, um, and it's just pasting the numbers, okay? All right, now all we want to do is come up with a model for these three things, okay? So the first thing to do is produce a scatter plot between the generation and the recurring population total. So we highlight the generation column, we hold down control, and we highlight the recurring population column. And we just need to go into insert. We want to insert a chart, so over here, uh, and a scatter plot. Look at that, that looks fantastic. Okay. Now to add a trend line to this chart, we click on one of the dots, we right click, and we can click add trend line. In add trend line, it will bring up all these options here, okay? You can add a linear trend line. We could add a power trend line, okay, for a power function, or we could add one for an exponential function, okay? Just looking at those lines of best fit, the exponential seems to be the best, but I want you to prove to me um, why, why it is, obviously, in this assignment. So we can click this, click this box here, display equation on chart. There's the equation of the exponential function and display the R squared value. How strong is the correlation? So we can see here that is quite a significant um, correlation. Okay, what we can also do, I'm going to move that down there for the moment, is um, if we want to calculate the, um, the natural logarithm of a function. Okay, 
So let's say we wanted to test uh, the linear and power model. Well, another way we can do it is by doing, okay, let's say this cell is equal to ln or the natural logarithm of the x-axis, okay? And I'll just drag, again, drag that formula down. So this column here is ln of x axes, and this column will be ln of y axes. Okay, so this is equal to lin of what's in our y axis is our recurring population total. All right, and again, drag that formula down. And so to do a um, to do to check the exponential model, okay. Now, remember, exponential uh, has linear linear correlation of lin y versus x. So let's do that. Let's check lin y, this axis, against the generation axis. Okay? So this axis against this axis. Let's produce a scatter plot of that. Okay, and it appears to be pretty linear, so it looks like exponential might be a strong model. Okay, so we can add trend line uh, and linear and display the equation on the chart and the R squared value. Okay, great. Okay, last thing, you may want to calculate a residual plot for this to because we have a high R squared value, so that shows a good co coefficient already, but let's make sure with a residual plot okay so all, all, all this stuff that we've done before is probably all you need to know what I'm about to show you next is going a bit beyond what you need to do but will uh, will help definitely help you um, do that if that's what you want to do okay so we have our four columns here I'm gonna move that down there for the moment but we need to see that equation so we've got the lin of the y-axis, the lin of the x-axis, the recurring population total. Now what we want to do is, this is our observed y. This is what we observed in the random number. We want to do a calculated y-value from the formula we've got down here where my mouse is now. Okay. So for our calculated value, we're using the formula is equal to now I'm going to open it with a bracket because we're doing a multiplication first. 0 0.4925 times by x. Okay, and our x axis is just our generation number. And then plus 0 0.8329. Okay, so this is what we would predict y to be, predict or calculate y to be based on this formula here, the linear formula. Okay. And then, of course, to calculate the residual, it is just the predicted take away, uh, sorry, the observed take away the predicted. Okay, and again, apply that formula down. So if we want to do a residual plot, it's the generation against the residual numbers here. Sorry. Okay, and we can insert a scatter plot. And there he is, okay. And we can easily see that this does appear to be random about the x-axis, okay? They seem to be fairly uh, randomly scattered. So there isn't a real pattern. So it would appear that a linear model is a good idea for this one. Okay, and uh, sorry, an exponential model is a good idea for this one. And the R squared value that we calculated down here says so as well. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, again, Excel is all about relationship. This fir these first three columns here are what you need to do. Um, okay, let me show you one final thing that might help you when we get into part two. Uh, so we have the recurring population total, and then we have the population after death rate. Okay, and you might say that 10% uh, die each time, okay, which means 90% survive. Okay, so in this cell, you want this to be equal to 0 0.9 times by your population that you had before. Equals 0 0.9 times by the population you had after them being born. Okay, now to make it round, there's a button up here to make more decimals or less decimals. Obviously, you want less decimals. Okay, 
Um, so it's saying after the first round, there's still four alive. Now, the only thing that's going to change is your recurring popular, uh, your random number generator, you want to be between zero and your new population. Okay? So again here, the, uh, the error here is that we haven't copied the formulas over. But if I just put it in again, ran between zero and this column. Okay. And we can drag that one down. Okay. And again, this, we're going to drag this one down. Okay. And it will calculate the, uh, the amount that die for us. Okay. So, very powerful tool, please use it, it's going to be so much more simpler than using your graphics calculator.